Good evening, welcome to our, our uh, Sunday evening, uh, Sunday uh, Christmas Eve service at Dallas Baptist Church of Pastor Serrano. Sorry for the darkness, but we do have some lights that you can uh, read your uh, hymn books with, and they have natural flickers in them. And you notice the theme is light, because Jesus is the light of the world, so the theme is light. The world was in darkness until Jesus came. And he brought the light. So we're going to start with hymn number 262. We're going to sing one verse. And then once we're done with that, we're going to move into your red hymnal. And I just, I'll tell you what page is on, what number is on, and then we'll sing those. Okay? In between, I'll be singing, I'll be reading scripture. Okay? All right. So, in your hymnal, 262 is the light of the world of Jesus. So if you have that ready... <clears throat> Here we go. The whole world was lost in the darkness of sin. The light of the world is Jesus. Like sunshine at noonday, His glory shining. The light of the world is Jesus. Come to the light, is shining for thee. Myself, and we'll thank you and praise you for it. I pray you bless uh, this time that we have together. Lord, we come before you to worship and serve you, Lord. And I pray, God, that you would be a preacher as well as a preacher, Lord. And we we'll just thank you and praise you for it all. For us in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. In the book of John, chapter 1, the, the Bible begins to describe Jesus. Uh, he's, he's called the Word here in, in this chapter. In John 1, 1, the Bible says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. This is how we know that Jesus is God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him. Without Him was not anything made that was made. And Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. And then it begins to tell a testimony of John the Baptist. The Bible says in verse 6, There was a man sent from God, that's John the Baptist, whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light. And that's that word light is capitalized. The first letter is capital, which means that's Jesus. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. Verse 8 says this, he was not John, and verse number 8, it's, it's a reference to John. John was not that capital L light, but was sent to bear witness of that capital L light. So John was simply uh, uh, an announcer, a proclaimer of Jesus. And this is the where we're going to end right here. Verse number 9, it says, that, it's talking about the capital L light, that light was the true light. Which shineth every man, which excuse me, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. And this is talking about Jesus giving lights. Jesus gives light to every person in the world. Okay? If the person will receive it, Jesus is willing to give them light and bring them out of darkness. Okay? And so now we'll begin the scripture reading. And it's from the book of Luke, where we get the story of the birth of Jesus. And it goes like this. And it came to pass in those days that they went out of decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went out from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem 
because he was of the house and lineage of David's. To be taxed with Mary, his spouse's wife, being great with child. And here the scripture is reminding us that, that uh, God's promise to the world uh, of a savior was coming to, to pass right here. Mary was already carrying baby Jesus, but they had to go to Bethlehem to be registered because the emperor had decreed uh, that everyone should be taxed. And so with that, we'll pause and then you read the book. Number one would be Old Little Town of Bethlehem, and then we will read one verse of that. that she, Mary, should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the end. And when you consider that, that the creator of the universe is coming into the world to visit and there was no room for him, no room for the creator. And today in many hearts in the world, there is no room for Jesus in those hearts. Right. So I pray that if you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, that you will make room for him, for him to come in. Okay? Now, Silent Night, we're going to sing it without the piano. So one verse of Silent Night, still on page one in your red book. Here we go. Silent Night, Holy Night, Behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, 
which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And then we're going to sing the first Noel on the piano, the first verse. You can go ahead. saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. And then again we'll sing, uh, Hark the Herald Angels, uh, the third, the, I guess the next verse. Okay, with the piano again. <coughs> Yeah. 
20, and it says, And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. Okay, so the next one is Joy to the World, page four. And this one is Without the Piano. Okay. Go to the world. We at the bottom of the page. Page four at the bottom. Go to the world. All together. Here we go. Joy to the world. The Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let our scripture reading and our um, music service and we we make this a, a very short service but we worship God in word and in music because he is worthy and also to remind us that uh, <clears throat> he's the real reason for the season okay and we who are parents should tell our children the truth we should not give our children vain, vain ideas about what Christmas is about. Tell your children the truth, okay? Tell them it's about the Lord Jesus Christ, right? And let them understand that from, from their childhood so that they can pass it on to their children, okay? Remember, Christmas is about the Lord Jesus. God sent his only begotten son into the world because man needed to be saved. Without Jesus, we die in our sins and we will end up in hell. But Jesus came to deliver us from that. So everyone that believes in Jesus can be forgiven of their sins. And when they trust Jesus as a personal savior, they are forgiven of their sins and they have a home in heaven. They don't have to be afraid of death anymore because they're going to be with God forever. That's the truth about Christmas. So please, here we are talking about Christmas, tonight and tomorrow. The ones that are going to get all the presents is you and me. Okay? How about we give Jesus a gift this year? Let's give him a gift. Go and tell someone about Jesus. That is the greatest gift you can give. Tell them about Jesus. Amen? Amen. All right, so let's go ahead and stand, and we'll be this myth with Craig dismissing us in prayer. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, uh, we thank you for today, Lord. We thank you for this wonderful occasion, this um, blessed occasion that you've given us all to come together in fellowship and worship you, Lord, and just to honor you, Lord, and give all the glory to you, Lord. We do thank you for your, your wonderful gift to us, Lord. You've given your only begotten Son, Lord, and it truly is a blessing, Lord. We're unworthy of this blessing, Lord. We are undeserving of it, Lord. But uh, you, being a merciful Father, um, our God in heaven, uh, gave it to us. And I just ask you, Lord, that you give us opportunity to honor you this season, Lord. That uh, you give us uh, awareness of those opportunities so that we may give the gospel to those who are seeking you now, Lord. Or who are looking for you, who are, uh, who are right there on the edge, ready to accept you, Lord. Please, Lord, give us utterance and boldness, Lord. Lord, I just ask you, please be with us as we go about the rest of our evening, Lord, as we go and visit our family, Lord, that, um, that you give us peace as we go, Lord, and again, Lord, that you give us encouragement to talk to our families, Lord, as it is the hardest person to talk to. Lord, I just pray that you please go with us, Lord. We love, we, we love you and we thank you, Lord, for all that you do for us. And pray this in your glorious name, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. There's gospel tracks in the back table. Take some, and it has the services. Uh, for Valley Baptist Church, invite someone. Okay? Uh, if you have a hard time talking to them, just give them a gospel track. All right, the Lord bless you. You are dismissed. <laughs>